everyone welcome to my channel this is reading truth to roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading truth today we're gonna read for the sign of taurus so guys i wanted to introduce to you my new deck here and i'm going to use some of these um later on but this is my new deck shining light in silence a twin flame journey by clarice clara diaz that is me and you see it says interference and obstacles i want to be a family so this is my new deck and but we're gonna start out with tarot if it leads to love or if it goes in that direction then i'll use that deck and a few other love decks if it goes that love route so this is for the sign of Taurus. someone could be feeling left out in the cold i just saw that in the split Someone is going through a healing, a major healing, learning how to bring themselves back into balance. I also see here someone, there's a lot of hope here. I also see where they could, someone could be going through a transformation, a spiritual transformation as well. Someone's home may be coming apart um, or they may be... Um, transforming period i also see here in the yeah okay so i see here it's crazy because you have the tower card that's your home basically coming apart um seeing things differently or maybe it was a faulty foundation maybe you were in a relationship that just came apart Someone here is still having hope and needing healing from this. I also see like someone wants a new foundation, but it's in the crossing. Someone here could be single, but they have their money together here. Growing their money, being single, you know, but at the same time, it's like someone is going through some kind of a transformation. Someone may be doing a lot of healing work here. This is the Hermit card representing Virgo. Someone may be going within, searching for answers, doing shadow work, um, reflecting on their life here, seeing things differently. Yeah, someone could be in this wounded warrior energy here, feeling um, defensive and blocking certain people out as well. It's like it's standing your guard, keeping boundaries. I'm only going to take the card I saw on top, which was the moon, because it was just way too many. And that means here, someone could have like these secrets here. There could be interference. Uh, so you could have known about someone here, and there could have been some interference here. So someone could have been in a relationship here, trying to heal a situation, having hope in a situation, and now needing to heal from a situation. Someone could have wanted to start um, a new foundation, like move to a new home, start something new, but it's in the challenge position. And I see here that there is interference. Someone could have some kind of a secret here. And someone could be absolutely spying here with the Page of Swords representing Aquarius. Let me push that back. We also have the Strength card. Someone may be needing strength in a situation here. Someone could be sad or heartbroken because of a virgo here because the hermit card is a virgo trying to search for answers trying to look for some peace and healing could be regarding a virgo i do see on the outcome we do have the ace of cups so it's like love wants to come in for you here and at the bottom of the deck someone wants to make an offer or some kind of an apology to you it probably come with a gift and i do see here that you have the sun so this is the happy card this is a yes card if you're asking a question but this is telling me that things are going to be okay Yeah, someone definitely needs some healing here. Someone is going through some kind of healing, trying to balance their emotions, trying to balance life, their emotions, their even maybe the sanity, you know, trying to deal with life here. So someone could be trying to, uh, someone is trying to go through a deep healing right now. And someone has hope. 
I also see here, and it's weird because you also have Aquarius here. So this is Aquarius as well, and that's Aquarius. You also have the Tower here. The Tower is a major arcana as well. So is the Star card. And this tells me that something could have came apart recently, or you could be going through a transformation, an ending of the way you see, think about things like things the way you used to see and think about people things situations you your views are changing and you could be now wanting to start a new foundation so you could be going through some kind of transformation or some kind of move where you went from faulty foundation and now you're looking to get into a solid foundation i also see here you could be coming into some money you could be opulent have what you need and want live comfortably here but again there's something here it's like you're, you're it's like you're searching for answers i see you could be spending a lot of alone time here it could be going through depression it could be uh learning meditation and learning about new uh, ways about spirituality as well you could be learning how to get over a situation reg regarding a virgo and you could have been in the hermit mode like going within constantly like um spending a lot of alone time is what i want to say but you are definitely going through a transformation you could have also been very guarded from a lot of people like keeping your defenses of keeping guarded keeping your boundaries here um i see you as the wounded warrior you may feel like you're hurt and you're alone but at the same time it's like you keep your boundaries up I also see the moon card, another major arcana here. Someone could have secrets. Maybe you have secrets. There could be deep feelings here for someone. Someone may have deep feelings for you as well. I also see where there could have been some interference, um, whether it be you or someone here. Someone could have caused some kind of an interference, trying to win at all costs. You could have felt hurt or devastated by a situation or you could have hurt someone and uh, made them feel devastated and hurt, and hurt at, at one time here. It's like winning at all costs. Someone here could be spying, whether it be you or someone else. Someone could be spying here on someone, their social media. Uh, going around where they live. I also see here with the strength card is like someone's needing strength in a situation and hopes and fears. The fear is basically not having the strength to get through a situation. But I do see new love wanting to come in for you, like a abundance of love wanting to come in for you with the Ace of Cups here. So someone wants to offer you their love. I'm going to do another set of cards um, to clarify, and I'll use these. The Taurus. Taurus, I feel like you need to bring down the guards. You need to bring down the barriers because new love wants to come in. If you want something new in your life, a new foundation, a new start, then you need to release the boundaries, drop the boundaries is what I want to say right now. Yes, yeah, someone may want to work with you, um, get together with you. Someone here could feel like they're not quite clear on a situation here or not seeing things clearly with the Keen and Swords on my challenge hand. It's like someone is not seeing something clearly here. So we're going to start with the star card. And we have the King of Wands. So it could be someone here wanting to heal something with you, wanting to help you go through this healing. Someone could also want like, um, like they have hopes in being with you. It could be a Leo. It is um, the King of Wands, someone with a lot of confidence. It's like something needs to come apart. You need to let something go. But I feel like you keep holding on to something here. I also feel like you feel like you have to hold on to your money as well. Like it's like you may want to move somewhere, go somewhere, but you may feel like there's not enough money, not enough funds that you want to hold on to your money. But it's like, 
it's like time to get up and go, you know? It's like maybe due to money, you don't want to release this faulty foundation and start a new foundation because you worry about finances. I also see here the eight of wands. Also, like someone may want a fresh start with you and you're holding back your emotions is what I want to say. I'm sorry, that just came to me. But we also see the eight of wands in the challenge position right over the four of wands. So it's like someone wants to take fast action. They want to come towards you. This person, someone may want to com uh, communicate a lot with you, like a lot of communication. Sorry about that. That's because I have my door open. There was a little breeze that came through. It kind of startled me. Um, but there's going to be communication. They may be travel by plane, so you may fly somewhere, as you see the rods are in the air. So you may even travel somewhere and get a lot of communication here. You're stepping on, up into this divine empress energy with um, Taurus here. I believe it's... You're stepping into your divine empress here. It's like you're going to be abundant. You have what you need. You can have new ideas. You may want to travel. You may be thinking about someone who goes way back um, a long time with you. Someone that you've known from childhood and you could be thinking about this person. You also may be dealing with someone who may have an age difference towards you. Yeah. I see here where for someone here, it's like they're, they're guarding themselves or keeping boundaries because they're dealing with someone toxic around them here. Um, so there could be like some toxicity here. Someone could be drinking, doing drugs or something like that. And you might be aware of it. So you could be keeping guarded for that fact. Maybe you're dealing with toxic people. And someone here could be cheating or someone could have gone through some hurt. It could be a secret. In my challenge hand, someone could have been really sneaky and looking back at that. And in the positive hand, you could get some clarity, some communication. There may be some success here. I feel like you're definitely blocking yourself from someone toxic. And someone could have hurt you or cheated on you, definitely. And there could have been secrets here on it. And there's definitely interference here. So someone could have been interfering in a connection with you and someone here. Yeah, because it's like someone wants to give you their ace of pentacles. But there's like interference here. Someone there's like interference here. Someone wants to get someone could even like want to steal your money. So like be careful about that. I'm gonna take this one first. This one dropped, and then I'll take this one. This one came in the reverse. So you have the lovers in the reverse. So you may feel like, or someone may feel could be a Gemini because the lovers represents Gemini. But could be that someone Someone wants some equal give and take here in hopes and fears and needing the strength here, but you're probably not reciprocating your emotions or you're keeping guarded because maybe you've been hurt before or you feel like you're not deserving of this love or something. But it's time for a cycle to end and another cycle to begin. And with the justice card, that tells me like things can come into a balance. If anyone is dealing with the court system, this tells me also things are coming in your favor. Things will be fair. Someone, again, may be traveling with the world card. There may be success here. Ending the way things, how you used to do things and changing those things around here. Okay, let me see what else we have here. What else am I throwing for you guys? Hmm. We're going to keep it on the love. Let's keep it on the love. Okay, so we'll use my deck here. And it's called Shining Light and Silence, A Twin Flame Journey. The heat in here is unreal, guys. This is why I haven't been doing my readings too much because... It's been like super hot here in Florida. And I'm going to do past, present, future, and outcome, but I might do two lines on it. One for you and one for the other person. Okay, first one. I don't want to run anymore. This could be you. I dream of you often. 
You could be running from a connection. You could be running away from love, keeping boundaries when someone wants to come in with confidence towards you. It could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with some tox toxicity around you. I want to feel intimacy with you. This could be you or the other person. Oops. Hold on. I'm going to pull this out. I stay up at night and think of you. Oh, no. I almost dropped it. Our meeting was faded. I hope and dreamed of a baby with you. We belong together. Someone could have wanted a baby with you. Or someone could want a child with you. Hold on. Someone, like, just wishes they could have, even if they can't. It's like even if someone can't have a baby, they wish they could. I want to be a family. So it's like if you have family or you have kids or they have kids, they may want to come together. If there's no kids, regardless, they want to come together and be a family with you. At the bottom of the deck, I want to marry you. I want to do so many things with you, and that could be intimate or even just the everyday things. Of course, that baby thing is not for everybody. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Did I see that before? Yeah. In my deck. I stay up at night and think of you. So this came out. This is confirmation that someone thinks about someone. What was on the other hand? So many things remind me of you. And this one is the Hidden Truth Oracles. Past, present, future, and outcome. I lost myself for a little while. That could be you, Taurus. I have this energy that this could be you. Like something happened here where you've lost yourself in a sense. We need to let each other go. Maybe you're not ready or someone is not ready for whatever reason. What is the message for the outcome for the last part here? Okay. One more card for the outcome. One more spirit. Two more. Three more. I regret lying to you. I am not available. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. In the bottom, I feel you even though we are apart. I wish I could take back my words. Okay, Taurus, I think I'm going to leave it at that. This was my reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Sending love and light. Namaste and God bless. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, I want to thank my subscribers, past, present, future, and outcome. Do please subscribe. It is free. Also, all the links for readings, candles, you name it, are in the link description box below and what else here and i guess that's it i just want to send love and light like the, the the video if it resonated and until next time my loves bye, -bye.